we would like to know how to do computations with matrices. We could view a factor as a small matrix, of course, say a m times 1 matrix. This means that we want to choose the operations for matrices such that they coincide with our familiar operations for vectors. So adding to matrices goes similar as adding to vectors, multiplying a matrix with a scalar 2. There's a small catch, however, as you will sh see shortly. What is truly different is the multiplication of a matrix and a vector. We could of course define something similar to an inner product, but as it turns out, that is not a useful definition. So what is a useful definition of matrix times vector? Well, watch this video. But first, we start with the addition of two matrices. You can only add two matrices if they have the same size. So here we have A, the 2 by 3 matrix, B, 2 by 3, and C, 2 by 2. The matrices A and B have the same size, so you can add A and B. You cannot add A and C, for example, because they have not the same size. How can you compute A plus B? Well, just add all the numbers. 1 plus 1 equals 2, 0 plus 2 equals 2, 2 plus 3 equals 5, minus 1 plus 4 equals 3, 1 plus 5 equals 6, and 0 plus 6 equals 6. So that's how you add two matrices, uh, add all components. Matrix times scalar. How can we compute matrix times scalar? Well, what do we do? For example, 3 times b, we compute that by multiplying all components of b by 3. So b equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 3 times b becomes 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Indeed. So let's do an even more difficult exercise. Compute a plus 3 times b. Well, in order to do that, you first have to compute 3 times b, and then add a. So 3 times b over here, and add a. 4, 6, 11, 11, 16, 18. And there you have a plus 3 times b. Could you make a mistake in exercises like this? Well, in fact, you can. Here we have a plus 0 times c. And that's a nasty one. I see you think, why? It's just a. Wrong. 0 times c is a 2 by 2 matrix containing only zeros. a is a 2 by 3 matrix. You cannot add a 2 by 3 matrix and a 2 by 2 matrix, so this is impossible. It's not defined. So, in fact, be careful with the sizes of the matrices. Those have to match. Matrix times factor, the next operation. Well, it's most convenient to write A as a sequence of columns. A1, A2, A3, up to An. And to write X in its components, X1, X2, X3, up to Xn. Well, A times X is only defined if the number of columns of A is the same as the number of components of X. So the width of A should match the height of the factor X. And how do you compute A times X? Well, you take the first component of X times the first column of A, X1 times A1, plus X2 times A2, plus X3 times A3, until plus x1 times a n. So a times x will give you another factor, which is a linear combination of the columns of a with weights from the factor x. Let's do this in an explicit example. Take x1, 3, 2, 1, and x2, 3, 2. Now we want to compute a times x. The height of x1 is 3, the width of a is 3, so we are able to compute a times x1. We get 3 times the first column over here, plus 2 times the second column over there, plus 1 times the last column over here. And there we are, and then we just have to add those factors and we get 5 minus 1. So that's a times x1. Now, we can also try to compute a times x2. However, x2 has only two components, 
and A has three columns, so we would need three uh, components in the vector. We have only two, so A times X2 is not defined. Of course, we can compute C times X2, because C has only two columns and X2 has two components. Well, let's do it. C times X2, three times one four over here, plus two times two five over there yields three plus four equals seven, and 12 plus 10 equals 22. So that's how you compute uh, C times X2. So now you know how to add matrices, how to compute matrix times scalar, and how to compute matrix times factor.